ソースネクスト It all began as an ordinary day in September. An ordinary day in Raccoon City. A city controlled by Umbrella. No one dared to oppose them. And that lack of strength would ultimately lead to their destruction. I suppose they had to suffer the consequences of their actions. But there would be no forgiveness. If only they had had the courage to fight. It's true that once the wheels of justice begin to turn, nothing can stop them. Nothing. It was Raccoon City's last chance. And my last chance. My last escape. September 28th, daylight. The monsters have overtaken the city. Somehow, I'm still alive. Okay, we've got to get out of here. What? What do you think you're talking about? I just lost my daughter out there! How dare you tell me to go back outside? I'm sorry about your daughter, but there isn't gonna be any rescue. We have to get out of here! No! I'm not going anywhere! I'd rather starve to death in here than be eaten by one of those undead monsters! 
Resident Evil Resident Evil September 28th, daylight. The monsters have overtaken the city. Somehow, I'm still alive. I told you! I'm not leaving! Never! Oh! <laughs> 
doing something about this. I didn't know you were still alive, Jill. The police aren't trained for this kind of situation. What could they do? Listen, he's coming for us. We're both gonna die. What are you saying? You'll see. He's after STARS members. There's no escape.
stars. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, this looks bad. Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. Here. Take this. Oh. 
say so, but my head feels like it's about to explode. Anyway, name's Carlos. Glad to meet you, lady. Jill. Alpha Team? RPD STARS unit, who do you represent? STARS? I see. Well, I'm a member of the Biohazard Countermeasure Force sent by Umbrella Incorporated. Sent by Umbrella? Hey! Don't look at me like that, what did I say? Do you have a problem? Oh no, it's him! Thank 
Wait, I have to ask you something. I know. You want to ask me out? All the foxy ladies love my accent. It drives them crazy. I have to know. Why did Umbrella send you here? Because we're on a civilian rescue mission. Oh, you're full of it. They're the ones who caused all this in the first place. Look, we're just mercenaries. Hired hands. Do you really think the master would tell his dogs why they have to retrieve the stick he just threw? Listen, if you want answers about Umbrella, you're asking the wrong guy. Believe it or not, we are here to rescue civilians. If you can trust me, join us. Think about it.
okay? My people. They were wiped out by these monsters. I can't stop just because I'm wounded. But can't you see those monsters are also the victims of Umbrella? Are you accusing me of taking it out on them? You don't seem to understand something. We're not really involved with the company. There's no reason for any of us to take responsibility for this mess. I know that. And right now that's the only reason why I'm trying to cooperate with you. hard and have the wounds to prove it. But I'm still alive. My men aren't. Don't think about that now. Just rest. You're one of the survivors from the rescue team, right? I just ran into your teammate, Carlos. How did a girl like you manage to survive? Hey, I'm no ordinary civvy. I'm a member of STARS. STARS? You mean the RPD Special Force Team? Hey! So Jill, did you decide to help us out? It looks like we're the only ones who survived. We should work together. No, we can't trust her. Why? But Sergeant, we need her help. Our unit's down to you, me, and Lieutenant Mikhail. That's it. And Mikhail's hurt bad. If we don't cooperate, we won't be walking away from this mission. Then let's go over our plan. We're moving to the clock tower area, which is the designated landing zone for the extraction chopper. Once we get there and give the signal, the chopper will fly in and pull us out. That's a lot of ground to cover. I, I don't think we can make it on foot. The main problem we have is that the landing zone is cut off from here by the fire. So we have no choice but to use this cable car to navigate through it. Fortunately, we can also use it as a moving shield to get us through the worst areas. That works for me. Good plan, sir. Okay, people. Let's get moving. Here, take this. Oh. 
Uh, Nikolai won't be joining us. Come on, let's go. It's looking good. It's him! Okay, let's go.
cable car, now! Mihail, wait, don't! Get out of here! Hurry! Mikhail. No! The brakes are out! It's useless! Ha <laughs> ha 
Thank <laughs> you. 
There also appears to be a slight fracture in his right arm just below the elbow. However,
of letting us make it back alive. Do you really think we can trust their great evacuation plan? Huh, it's just a piece of paper. 
we don't have any other choice than to trust them right now. No. If we're gonna die, then we should get to choose when it happens. Uh. So that's it then, huh? You're giving up? No. I just... I can't handle it. So that's it then, huh? We're giving up.
I'm sorry, Jill. Please, wake up! Jill! October 1st, night. I woke up to the sound of falling rain. I can't believe I'm still alive. Carlos? It looks like our roles have been reversed from when we originally met, huh? Don't worry, Jill. This chapel is safe. I've been infected by the virus, haven't I? Hey! Take it easy. I'm okay. Don't feel any pain. But that's what bothers me. If I can't feel anything, then what does that mean? Don't give up, Jill. I'll take care of you. Whatever you do, don't let that virus beat you. Thank you. 
idea. Another guinea pig was still alive. What are you doing? Have you lost your mind? Sometimes it's easy to forget one's loyalties. Just like that traitor. You mean the guy who shot you? Yeah, you know him. The one with the gray hair and the ugly mug. I can't believe he had the guts to shoot me. That traitor! You mean Nikolai?
Thank <laughs> you. 
fought with that monster. Uh, I've got some bad news. Nikolai's still alive. But I thought he was dead. <laughs> that guy doesn't know the meaning of the word dead. What is he after? I don't know. All I know is that he is our enemy. I'm sorry, Jill, but there's something I gotta take care of. I promise I'll meet up with you later. But don't worry.
All supervisors, mission terminated. Return immediately. Repeat. All supervisors return immediately. Over. I'm quite impressed you've managed to stay alive up until now. And you seem to be doing a pretty good job of looking out for yourself. How about helping out? I have no intention of helping you. Because we're nothing but pawns in all this? In a manner of speaking, you are. Our employers wanted a detailed analysis of the zombie beings which were created through infection by the T-Virus. You're saying that they deliberately sent in a military unit to be butchered by their creations? Not exactly. Although the conditions encountered on this operation were extreme, it was an unexpected outcome that the team would be wiped out. We were only required to collect live data from the subjects. Ah! Another mutant!
Business with me, friend. Until next time, friend. Any more business with me, friend? Until next time, friend. Until next time, friend. Any more business with me, friend? Until next time, friend. Sauce next door. Oh! <laughs> 
Time job. Thanks, Carlos. I agree. Listen closely, Joe. They're going to launch a missile directly into the city as soon as day breaks. At dawn? But but that's only. I know. We don't have much time left. We have to split up and find a way out of here. And hey, watch out for that traitor, Nikolai.
Yeah. <laughs> 
Missile attack confirmed. All personnel evacuate immediately.
You're still alive. Such persistence. Nikolai? Sorry, but there is no escape from here. Warning. Warning. Missile attack confirmed. Warning. Missile attack confirmed. Emergency level D. All personnel evacuate immediately.
Checking system. Checking battery. Warning. There is not enough power to activate the system. Battery connected.
You want stars? I'll give you stars. Resident Evil. Still alive. Such persistence. Nikolai? Sorry, but there is no escape from here. System. Checking. 
Battery. Warning. There is not enough power to activate the system. Stars? I'll give you stars.
All this death wasn't caused by a monster-making virus. It was greed. Human greed. My greed. Thank you. 